Hello there YouTube. Today I want to share with you the latest purchase that I've done from uh, Secondhand Market, which is a Raspberry Pi for model 4B 4 gigabytes. And I got a 7-inch uh, screen with it. It's a touch screen. And let me turn it on for you for us. There we go. Just let it boot. And on my last video or the other video, I showed you the other Raspberry Pi. It's also a 4B. Um, I print a new case for it, which has a larger fan uh, exhaust here or intake. There is only one problem with this case, which is um, it clicks in and to reopen it, I might have to break it. I'm not sure. This design, which it came with, was kind of better because it's using just screws from here, four screws, and then you just put it together like this. But the fan uh, exit or intake is too small. That's why I printed a new one with a larger one. So it has booted up, as you can see, a touch screen. And let me see. Here, four gigabytes, 3,838 megabits, megabytes of memory it is working well i still haven't installed any clipper whatever nothing on it it's just a raspberry um, operating system it is working well although there is uh, no heat sink on this so it's getting really pretty hot um, but i'm not using it at the moment very Heart, nothing is just working okay I also have this um, Bluetooth keyboard by Rapu which is also working I'm not sure how good you're seeing this okay so the mouse pad is also cursor is moving no problems and um, let me get out of this uh, there you go the Bluetooth everything is working I didn't test it really hard I didn't test too many options on it uh, but I like the screen. It has no scratches, nothing. It doesn't come too often that you buy something on the second-hand market and it just comes with no flaws. Um, it had also uh, an adapter from uh, micro, SD, micro USB to um, Type-C which is here but I'm gonna get a switch so turn on and off switch because plug it in and out is not very healthy for components like these because they're not very durable so it can get really bad uh, future plans on this project is uh, I'm going to install clipper on this to make it work on the uh, Ender 3 V1 and if I like it, if I like the, the, the usage, the, the, the settings and the print quality, the print speed, because everyone is saying that the print speed is getting really fast and much more reliable prints and you can monitor it through your phone, through, your, through the internet. It's all really nice. Uh, it sounds nice. <laughs> I want to try it for sure and i have a spare raspberry pi which i can if i like this one i will install it on the s1 maybe i'll do it uh 
around I, I do it on the s1 and then on the uh, v1 we'll see about that but um, I just need to have some time to put on this because I just installed the energy v1 uh, the main board v 4.2.2 which I'm gonna exchange to 4.2.7 uh, but I want to try it on the 4.2.2 the clipper uh, just to see if anything goes wrong it's a spare uh, main board I can I want to uh, use my 4.2.7 for uh, when it's everything is dialed up and working fine and what I found out is also the S1 screen this let me unplug it the S1 screen, which has no Ender logo on it, it's, it's dusty a little. Um, someone said it doesn't work on the Ender Tree V1. Well, guess what? It does work. It's the same pin layout, and I just plugged it in. It does work, no problems, nothing. Uh, I didn't get any issues. I didn't print with it, but as long as the interface is working well, no problems. Um, so. I have also one of these in the order so when it comes out I will have two then but as long as you're using clipper so as far as I know you won't be using these these gets absolute obsolete and um, well but I still want two of these in case I will not use clipper but uh, I'm glad I, I finally got the Raspberry Pis because these didn't came cheap. Um, this one I paid 100 euros, which is about 112 US dollars, I think at the moment. Um, it came with this case. It came with one 16 gigabytes of uh, micro SD card and it came with an uh, adapter it wasn't the original one uh, but it was uh, an adapter that works with it um, and also an hdmi cable um, well i i guess it could have been worse <laughs> it could have been more expensive uh, but i got the other one with the lcd screen uh, it didn't have a hdmi cable it did have uh, the adapter uh, and 16 gigabytes of memory and the Raspberry Pi. Uh, it was 150 with postage. Um, well, I paid actually 150, but it was 140. It, it came from the Netherlands and um, uh, I paid 150. This one I checked, it was around 90 euros. Just the LCD screen, the touch screen. Uh, now I think it's around 65. In a couple of days, it just uh, dropped in price. It might be fluctuating. It might go back up. It might get even cheaper. I don't know. Uh, but I found it at the moment that of purchase. It was a nice deal. Maybe at the moment it isn't. <laughs> uh, but well, you have to be happy with what you get. And um, because if I use this as for a clipper I will use this screen and I will mount it somewhere around the left or the right side um, I will have to move the laser packer because it's taking well seven inch ish more on the right side so the laser pack has to go somewhere else uh, which is my laser if you haven't seen it on my channel um, but yeah I like it it's just uh, Nice combination with this keyboard and touchpad. It's working really flawlessly. Uh, I have to change the layout to French keyboard because I can type also in uh, QWERTY, but I like I prefer uh, AZERTY, which is this layout. It's a French layout. I prefer this one. Um, anyways, guys, it was just a quick video just to show you that uh, uh, I have the equipment to start with a clipper 
uh, and many people on Discord say also that Clipper is really nice. Well, I guess I'll have to install and check it out. And uh, well, of course, I will share my uh, findings around the Clipper. Um, but I'm expecting a lot of it because it makes your printer smart. And uh, many people say if you are just using the normal interface of your printer, you're kind of using it as a dump device. Um, well, I'll have to see what's difference with Clipper. Anyways, guys, thanks you were thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, hit the thumbs down. Subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you. Bye.